Uh... Hey y'all, so today I am going to be unboxing these two uh, massive boxes from my uh, January haul. Makachin is thoroughly curious as to what I'm about to do. Um, and the reason I decided to go ahead and just do a haul slash unboxing is basically because I got way more in January than I thought and I really don't feel like breaking down all of these into their own little videos like I've kind of been doing. Um, doesn't mean I won't do quick looks at some of these figures. Um, if you're interested I can, but for the most part we're just gonna do this all in one video. It might be a little bit longer than uh, I use, usually make videos, but lately I've been making them pretty short. So yeah, let's, uh, let's unbox all this stuff that I bought in January. Probably shouldn't have, but I did. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Ami Ami box. Um, I get an Ami Ami order pretty much every month, uh, and I do the combined orders. It's only once in a rare occasion that I will not combine orders. Um, I think I have two different orders coming for February, but pretty much I usually just combine the orders because it's a lot easier on like me financially <laughs> and it gives me a little bit of time and if it's a pre-order it's nice because you don't have to pay until everything's ready to ship so yeah they always include one of these um usually it has a really cute picture of a girl on it and i ask maka chen if she wants it because she likes to rip it up so i'll still do that maka chen you want this do you want this do you want this all right there she goes she's taking it there it goes she is going to rip that up and I'll have to clean that up later. <laughs> they just like packaged everything I got that was little into this bag. So I'll open that in a second because um, the main thing that came in this in this box is the uh, Seto Kaiba uh, re-release, Kota Lukia re-release figure. So I'm going to get him out of the box real quick and then uh, open up the rest. So this is the Kotobukiya Seto Kaiba um, figure that they re-released. I actually already own um, Bakura and uh, Yami Yugi and I really wanted him and they're also releasing um, Joey as well and I pre-ordered him as also so I'll officially have all of the Kotobukiya ones that I wanted. And I own two of these already and this one for sure has the biggest box. Like he's got the biggest box, hands down. It's huge. It's massive. He's got such an obnoxiously large box. He was kind of expensive. He was like 80-ish dollars, I think, like that. Um, which isn't too bad, considering that if you have been to conventions, I'm sure you've seen a couple of these floating around, and they charge an obscene amount of money for them. So I told myself I would never pay that because I just knew better. And so... You know, patience, it paid off. Um, they re-released him, and I was able to go ahead and snag him. So I'm really, really glad about that. Um, the other stuff that I got from Ami Ami is just some littler pieces. Uh, nothing too big. I, I believe most of these are for my Ida bags. Um, this is what I got. The smaller uh, items I got, which are Gen, Gen, Gen. Don't worry about it. I'll make a video about this later. Um, I'll explain myself later. As well as a couple Senkus to go with them. And these are all for my Ida bags. So this is what I got from Ami Ami. Pretty great. Pretty excited. Uh, so we'll go ahead and move on to the next package I have. Okay, so here is the next box. Um, this one's really cool. So this is from my proxy service that I use, which is called Pikachuko Parlor. Uh, yeah, and that is run by a wonderful, lovely, uh, lady, and she is so sweet and so nice, and she does a number of things, um, provides pretty much what you're used to seeing from proxy services, she'll, uh, bid for you on secondhand sites, um, if she does pickup runs in person at secondhand stores or at actual stores, um, she will pick those up for you as well, as long as you have the money, um, her fee for picking everything up for you is probably the most reasonable priced fee I've ever seen and I've used many proxy services so always cut away from yourself kids um, so just saying that um, I would highly recommend her service now I do 
want to precipice that with being aware of right now shipping from Japan is kind of a nightmare. I think everyone that ships from Japan probably already is aware of this. Um, but that being said, because um, Pinkachuko Parlor is a smaller business, they do not have DHL. So that does limit um, the actual different shipping methods that you can use. As you can see, we ended up using the uh, Yamato um, Kuro, Kuro Neko, I believe this is called. Um, and it is really expensive. Um, so just kind of be aware of that if you are going to use like the service that there is no DHL as an option and that you will have to wait a little bit for some of the stuff that you're wanting to get. Um, and it could take some time. But that being said, you really do save a lot of money. So I can't um, recommend this service enough. Um, so everything in this box is stuff that I've bought from either a secondhand store, um, directly from a store, and what you do is you just buy it and then over time you build a box um, and then she ships you out all the items. So we're gonna start at the top. I'm so excited, holy crap. Okay, so at the top is this Hatsune Miku plush that I have been super excited for. So when I got this Miku, she actually did come brand new in box, but because of how big the box actually was, uh, I went ahead and told Amelia it's okay to unbox her and just um, put her in the box so that she's easier to ship. Um, and this Miku was actually from, um, I believe it's Akuji from several years ago, either, oh, it was a long time ago. 2015, 2016, I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Um, and this is one of my favorite looking Miku plushes and I've never been able to forget like about her. Um, so I was thrilled when I, I found her on Japanese Mercari for pretty cheap. Uh, so I went ahead and snagged her. Like I said, she was new in box, so at the time she had not been unboxed. So she looks so cute. I freaking love you, Miss Miku. So next up, we have these ridiculously cute Demon Slayer tins. Um, so originally these tins had candy in them and they're really cute. They just, they look so springtime. They're very, very light pastel, very nice, just very cute tins, very cool. Um, and I have Inosuke and Tanjiro and uh, Nezuko. And Nezuko is actually a gift for my sister because she really, really likes Nezuko, and she finally watched Demon Slayer, and now she wants to cosplay as her. I even got her a Zenitsu plush for her birthday. So these are really cute. Um, I don't know what I'm going to put in them right now. Probably tea, um, because I, I, I go through a lot of tea. So I just realized that my poor dog's itching spray was in the corner there, so I fixed that. Uh, okay, so moving on. This box is really full, so I'm going to get through it as fast as I can. And this is probably going to be a very chopped up video so that I can get through everything as fast as possible. Another thing is everything has been individually wrapped in um, plastic wrap. So it will take me just a second or two to open everything. So the next thing I have is from the Haikyuu exhibition that just happened not too long ago. Where you would get one of these blind little animals from any of the teams and it's got their little mascots they've got the Hina Gerisus and all the other animals now truth be told I do plan to get a lot of these because I really want a ton of the animals that they offered I want the Boku Waka Owls the Kuroken you know Nekos and the obviously the Hina Gerisu and the Kage Gerisu so I really want those but the first one I got may actually surprise people who know me because I'm not known for liking this character at all. I just do. So um, here is the front of the packaging. And when you buy these at the actual exhibition, it is actually going to be blind so you don't know which one you're getting. But because I bought it second hand, I did know which one I was getting. And I got Ushijima as a eagle <laughs> he's so cute wow look at that oh that's so great the, these are a lot smaller than I thought they would be but they're not bad they're they're small but they're not it's not super small I actually like appreciate how it looks purple around him like all of them kind of have a color to them and that's really nice um, but yeah I don't think a lot of people expected me to get like 
an Ushijima because I'm just, I'm not really known for that. I collect Kagehina, obviously, and I also am a Bokuto stan slash Kinney, so that's usually what people um, expect of me. Um, so the next thing is while out and about at a shopping center, um, uh, they were offering pickups for any of the stuff that they came across and there was a couple things that they came across that I was really interested in and one of those was a, um, a, a vending machine where you put in your yen and you twist it and then you're able to get a poster out um, so I went ahead and played again this is blind I didn't know what I was gonna get but I played and I ended up getting this Kenma poster He's very cute. He wants to play games, as always. Uh, very nice. Kenma isn't my favorite character, but he is Reagan's, so obviously that's that's what's happening to this poster. Okay, so the next thing is, this was also from that same outing when they were like, hey, we're doing pickups. If you find anything you want, let us know and we'll pick it up. I actually don't remember how many of these I asked them to get. I just remember asking them to pick some up so I don't remember how many of these I asked for so the first one is this Hinata he's super cute sorry guys I've never filmed at this angle before so I'm really trying something new if you don't like it let me know we'll we'll adjust we'll work you know work to get what we like Kageyama sorry about the glare guys it is so snowy it's we're currently in the middle of like a blizzard like conditions here um, and so I'm snowed in. <laughs> so what better thing to do when you're snowed in than to um, film a video, I guess. So the next thing we have is another one of those buttons. And this one's Kuro. So great. Love that. Uh, I do like Kuro. I cosplayed Kuro. I don't know if you guys remember that. That was a hot second ago. Um, oh, okay. And then, yep, another Kuro. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Well... Here is the Bokuto acrylic charm, and this is from an event that happened at J-World. Um, and I do not know how old this is, but I do know it was before the style changed. Um, so it was a while ago. Um, this was for a Halloween event, and so a lot of characters are dressed up uh, for the merchandise as other things. And as soon as I saw that Bokuto was dressed up as an owl, I was like, that's it. I'm getting it. I'm buying it. I'm a Bokuto Kenny. Okay, so the next thing is a Hinata pass case, which is really great. Um, I've been looking for a pass case to have. I use a pass case to get in and out of areas at work. And I honestly just feel like maybe they don't think I'm a weeb or they don't know that I'm a weeb enough and I need to like prove it. Which is hilarious because every single thing that I take to work I think has Haikyuu on it. So if you don't know that I like Haikyuu, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I've been obsessed with this shit since 2015, dog. All right, y'all. So I forgot that I totally bought this. And I'm not going to say that buying anything with Haikyuu on it or of Haikyuu is a mistake. Because it's not. And I, I've never tried to hide, you know, what I'm about here. So it's fine. But when I said I needed a big bag, reusable bag and tote for like groceries and stuff when we go places, I was like, oh, this will be an investment. And it's like, what, $3? Not a big deal. I did not anticipate the largest tote bag I've ever owned ever. It doesn't even, the dang thing doesn't even fit on frame. What the heck? Okay, there you go. It be, it be big. He do be a big boy though. I don't know. <laughs> oh jeez, Boys, he's big. He's big, he's bad, he's gonna carry my groceries. Um, so the next thing is this uh, Karasuno Volleyball uh, Outdoor uh, Collaboration Backpack. When this was announced like several years ago, I really wanted it, but the price was just way more than I could afford at the time. And I was like, I can't afford this. I just straight up can't afford this. But luckily, I am a patient person and I'm willing to wait to get the items I want because that means eventually, at some point, I will probably acquire it. So yeah, that was, gosh, years and years ago. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I was able to find it. I was able to find it much cheaper, um, at a much cheaper price and I'm super happy. This has been the backpack that has been kind of like a holy grail backpack, I guess you could say for me, because I've had backpacks as my go-to um, 
thing that I use for work and for school for so long and I graduated college, I'm not in college anymore, but I still take a backpack to work. And so it's kind of nice now. I can finally have the backpack that I wanted and this will honestly probably be the backpack that I take with me to Japan um, when I go this summer. So I'm, oh, have I announced it yet? Well, now you know. All right guys, so this box is almost done. But because I never filmed a video for the first box that I actually got from Pikachuco Parlor, I'm going to do a rapid fire of what I got because it's still in the packaging and I haven't done anything with it yet. Um, these are all Haikyuu and we're just going to, we're going to lightning round it. So, so here is a Kageyama pillow. It's a cushion. It's very nice. This was from an Ichiban Kuji that was held several years ago where the prizes were all of this new art that was designed for the Kuji. This is the only one that is opened. Um, the rest are still in their packaging, so you can kind of see what number they were for the Kuji. But yeah, so here's Kageyama. And then because I, I, I ship it like no other, um, I had to get Hinata if I got Kageyama. These are really nicely sized cushions too. See, this was uh, prize B. So, and then the back. Next up we have Yamaguchi. Next one is Kenma. Super, super nice. Akashi. Ah, Akashi. Sorry, I freaking love him. Um, so the thing about the cushions is that we obviously don't have them all. I'm missing Bokuto and Kuro to complete that. Like the kin sets <laughs> um, that we want. Um, as well as they also had Ushijima. And since I'm trash, I'm probably going to end up getting him too. Okay, so the first thing out of there that isn't Haikyuu, a Miku figure. So I have always wanted Miku figures, but my problem with Miku figures essentially comes down to there are so many and it's really hard to pick. And so I wait for a figure that really, really just kind of, I can't forget about it and then I get it. So I've ultimately come up with about a list of about four or five Miku figures that I really want. And this is expanding across all of Miku figures. I'm not just saying prize figures because I'm aware that this one is a prize figure. And I know my policy on prize figures is that I don't really like to get them if I can help it. But some things you have to get prize figures of because they really might not make any other figures of it. Or sometimes if the figure is just really stinking cute. Um, fuck my logic and get it anyway. Okay, so the last things in the box are... Uh, two Kaito figures that I got secondhand that were in such good condition I had to get them because it was both of these were $15. I got them both of them for like 15 bucks so I was like sold! <laughs> uh, but yeah it's actually Kaito's birthday today so happy birthday birthday boy! Like I know that they're like prize figures right? But they're so big! Holy crap! Dang! That's wild! Yeah, um, I have both of these Kaito figures because I really, really love Kaito. I know Len is kind of the one I talk about the most, if you do hear me like talking about Vocaloid. Um, but Miku and Len and Kaito are my top three, and I actually adore all three of them, like, quite a lot. Wowzers! I spent a lot of money! Oh, we made some bad life choices, boys. Okay guys, so that's it, um, 
Now that it's kind of all laid out, I realize my life is kind of a mess. Uh, but that's okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, this is a format I'm not used to doing. Um, I don't really do like haul videos like this or anything like that. I've done them a couple times, um, but not quite like this. So let me know if you enjoyed it. Uh, do you like seeing the crap I get every month? Um, are you concerned about my finances? Because I kind of am. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Miku, say bye. Oh my gosh, that's your pigtail. It's so thick. That's your pigtail. That's not even your hand, Miku. Okay, Miku, say bye. Bye!